Hi guys, hope everybody is doing really well today. Um, today I've got a very interesting video, if I don't say so myself. Um, I've bought, I've, I've been over to my buddy, the Spanner Man, and I've, I'm, I've picked up four new items off from a collection. I've also got some absolutely fantastic, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful literature, which I'm going to give you a little look through as well. I'm going to try to photograph and put on Instagram. So I'll put a link below to my Instagram and you can go check out if you're interested in more details. Um, so I've got some wonderful books and some wonderful tools. Um, so I'm going to go through the tools and I'll show you the books. That's what I'm going to do. So I bought four items off my friend Roger. Um, you can guess the price of what you think I paid for the four items off Roger. He gave me one price and I didn't argue. I just paid him. I thought it was really fair. Um, so the first item is this magnificent wrench with a lever mechanism. So obviously you can... You can obviously work it so you can angle the head to different, 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 um, different sizes. It's a bit oily, works wonderful. It had two of these. I think it could be French, and I don't see a maker's mark on it, but it, it, I think it could possibly be French or European. But I bloody love it. I think it's fantastic. What a cool wrench! Really interesting mechanism, the way that the mechanic mechanism works against and it's a lovely design in lovely conditions so really really like that little wrench i love the unusual ones and that one is definitely unusual um my favorite item by a country mile is this one now this um roger bought in my friend he bought this in 1981 1981 uh, on the 8th in london on uh, King Stan Road in London. And this is a nine inch combination tool, um, patented 1869 to 1872. Um, so over three years, and there's about four or five designs by David um, um, Heaton. Um, and so this, this tool is 150 years old approximately. Isn't that amazing? And it's a multi-tool from the US. I'll insert a pattern to show you the pattern. I think that's an amazing thing. So let's have a quick look at the, the actual things it's got. It's got a ruler just here, um, five inches, one, two, three, four, five or six inches in total ruler and um, it's obviously got a pry pry tool like it, they call, I think they called it a carpet tool it's got an adjustable wrench with this amazing collar which is still in, in uh, not been broken which I think is amazing the condition of this wrench is amazing you still got to see some of the black lacquer what it had on originally and um, obviously it's got a screwdriver on this end not broken absolutely fantastic and this tool here, like a scrape, it almost looks like a bolster chisel um, tool on the end. It's got a straight edge on this side. And I just think it's a fabulous tool. Absolutely amazing. Um, and that's almost a hammer as well. Um, absolutely fantastic. You can see the writing on it. You can see the patent date. 1871 to 1872. 12th of November. Patent granted. And... Um, and you can see here um david heaton on the side um this is a us tool um made patented in the us i think it's a us tool and it's in absolutely amazing condition i love multi tools and i think this is my favorite multi tool i've ever seen or ever bought um i think it's absolutely amazing super super rare super rare rocking horse rare so really really love that absolutely fantastic and um, really really pleased now the next item let's move these out of the way the next item is an also a rare early english adjustable millennium auto grip and you can see how it works as you put the pressure on the hand it forces on the nut so it's got um it's got the nut now i do have another one which has not got the offset on it this is called the automatic, which is also in the spanner book. The automatic wrench. 
and it's got the same sort of mechanism and um, but this one has got the offset both the same size a very similar wrench indeed and um, but so it's nice to have another one in the collection um, a millennium auto so two lovely wrenches there now the last item i was really pleased to pick up it doesn't look like much but this is an extremely early footprint wrench um, simple adjuster um, but nice and early made in england the greatest manufacturing country in the world in my humble opinion um, now i do have a few of these early english footprints um, all really early english i have four of them you can tell they're english by the primitive primitive um, methods um, and i'll show you in the book briefly in ron geeson's book there's two sizes of this one um which is really rather cool um, and then obviously we've got this domino here and then we've got this type of domino from 1908 and then this one's really early from 18, 8, 1890 this one as well so there we are so my collection of dominoes is um footprint dominoes is definitely uh, coming along so really really pleased with that um so now i'll move on to some of the literature have a quick look through so you can have a a little quick look at some of the cool graphics they had in the back in the days um, from the tool literature. So let's get on with that. So the first book I'll show you is, this is an amazing book. This is a Garrington Tools, Hand Tools book by Garrington um, from 1956, uh, January 1956. And um, hopefully you can see this. Um, and this is the original handbook from Nottingham. Um, and let me have a look, see if we can get into some of these tools. Um, so we've got socket sets. We've got the Pelican. What I liked about the Garrington was they used bird names for all their tools. So the Pelican, which is the socket set. Um, I don't think Jim's got one of those. We've got another Pelican socket set just here. Really, really nice. Square drive. Uh, looks like they've got three sizes, a uh, half inch, a quarter and three eighths or something. Um, we've got the Garrington, the, the Magpie, which is a type of spanner. We've got the Heron, the Warren. So it just goes on and on and on with the fantastic designs. But I just think the graphics of these books are absolutely fantastic. Just the, the look of them. I mean, just look at that. The J. Look at the packaging of that. Wouldn't it be amazing to find one of those boxes now? That would be just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, really, really, really fantastic. Loving that. Let's have a look what else we got. This is the Grebe. I've got one of those. And that's a Blackbird. I've just posted one of those to Jim. Um, a Latwing. I've got one of those. Um, but Jim's got the full set. The cool hammers, the snipe, the pullover, and Jim. This is what Jim's after. If anybody has ever seen a raven with this really, really cool um, sort of like breast drill, if anyone's ever seen one, please get in touch because because um, Jim would absolutely love one. He's got a robin. I think he's got a few robins, but he's never seen a raven. I'm on the lookout to see if I can get one for him, but I've never seen one myself. And um, we've got uh, my friend who I went to house, he had one of these um, nut drivers. I think Jim's got one of those. So I think between them, they've got a fantastic collection. Oh, what's that one there? The Terran Wire Tensioner. Jim, that, you need to get one of those, Jim. Um, so quick look through. Sorry if this is a bit of a rush. You see this display board here? Actually, Roger's got one of those display boards. It's magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. So, yep, yeah, um, oh, more hammers, the Husky. Looks like US, isn't it, Husky? Um, so, yep, yeah, really, really nice. Look at these sets, these cool sets they've got. Hopefully, you can see these pictures. I can't really lift the magazine up. It's a bit fragile. But I've done my best to show you the, the, the Garrington hand tools. Rather lovely. Let's have a look at a, another one, shall we? This is the King Dick tools from 1948 and they went with blue as their color i mean just look at that cool set there in that original case 
with all the hand tools wouldn't that look great on anybody's workshop absolutely fantastic so we've got here um king dick square drive they look funky don't they wouldn't mind one of them sets i bet i bet you uh, my buddy jack will be loving some of this stuff he's got some amazing little king dick sets i mean really really cool we've got sockets they look like bonnie sockets to me resto rob will attest to that they've got that kind of cone look like the bonnie sockets especially them smaller ones yeah um what else we got um all different type they made a lot of socket sets did king dick in the back in the day and mm, really in-depth socket sets more socket sets all different ones all different sizes. i'm going to try to photograph these and put these up on instagram like i said earlier and um, there's quite a lot of these left give me about 30 bucks to do so it might take me a while to try to get the information out and try and put it to people who want to know what was in the set and what they're missing or if they're refurbishing the set they can find it so if you go down to the link to my um instagram and just you can might be able to see some stuff there when i get to post it if you're interested um there we'll look at these here i've got one of those the king dick um that one i've got one of those in the pouch as well um we've got the, the 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 lucas type king dicks and then we've got the standard king dicks really cool look at the cool graphics in these books got this i've seen all these tools are the sort of tools you find on the car boot sales in england and this is the oh they did a king dick screwdriver look look at that i wonder if it's got king dick on it that'll be interesting aircraft toolkit very good so hopefully you didn't find that too boring if you did well nothing i can do about that now it's it's, it's too late um hopefully you enjoyed it um some interesting look at them toolkits they're like this the ones they have in america but less cool <laughs> i'll show you i mean i'll grab this book here um he's got a lot of older books as well um with all earlier items in um earlier pipe wrenches and stuff so i'll have a look through these as well and see what i can find and um, there's lots of non-spanner related items these are book and hickman i've got a few of these myself full of all multiple tools these are easy available to find so if you like toolbox go search book and hickman and you'll find that they've got spanners and wrenches and tools and all sorts and taps and dies and sockets and all sorts so hopefully you enjoyed that quick video um um don't forget to guess the price on the wrenches we got one two three and four um lovely wrenches um absolutely fantastic these my favorite is this one by a country mile i think it's magical probably one of the nicest tools i've ever seen in my view love that Put in the comments which one do you like i think they've all got the merits they're all rare and they're all interesting that's really unusual design you know the way that the mechanic mechanism works really unusual so put in the comments which is your favorite um if you're interested in the books let me know you're interested it might spur me on to actually uh, getting some of these books i mean there's literally i'm looking at about 20 or 30 of them there's probably 10 king dick books alone so, all right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.